sure we could fill the hour with different case studies, maybe just picking out a couple of more if, that, you re, that you recall here that really made a difference on these case studies uh, through the years. Yeah, I've had some dog bite deals. This here is a mastitis, a dog that had a bad mastitis. Wow. Um, abscessed and then busted out and of course you can't suture those for one it's infected and two it's part of the tissue is gone so we put her on some oral antibiotics and then just use vetricin on her we flushed it with the vetricin liquid and cleaned it out and then use the uh, antimicrobial hydrogel and there you go she's few weeks, and I think that was actually about a month later that we did that. A though. month and, later. Yeah, amazingly how fast they heal. I mean, there's not even hardly any scarring that you can see. So I uh, was really happy with the way that healed. The owners are happy because it's pretty easy. You know, it's kind of a simple thing. They don't have really, it's hard for us to do a lot of bandaging on some animals, especially in my rural area. A lot of times they're out and it's bandages can actually cause more problems than they can help once in a while. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I really love about the antimicrobial hydrogel is it's a moisture donating product and it kind of adheres to the wound site. So you can use it with or without a bandage. It's great if you can bandage, but if not, it's still going to help protect that area and keep the tissue moist because we know that tissue heals better in a moist environment. Mm -hmm.